What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Total Chaos. We're doing college football for your Friday, October the 7th. My name's Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and we are now, uh-oh, uh-oh, nobody look at that. We are now brought to you <laughs> by FanDuel. I've got a new sponsor for everybody, um, and this one's an easy one. They're giving you a no sweat first bet up to $1,000. You just use the link that's in the description of this video. It's that easy. Find the description, click the link. Boom, it takes you right there. You get 1000 bucks in a risk-free no sweat first bet. So check that out. Let's like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Today is, well, it's Thursday when we film for Friday, but that means it's the Insider's Room crew. That's who's here today. Guys, make sure that you check out the Insider's Room Discord. Tons of free picks and sharp cappers over there. Like Rye Cape. Like old Rye Cape. How's it going, friend? 25, 23, and 2. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Uh, my Phillies are in the playoffs for the first time in 11 years. Woo! Yeah, I'm excited and I'm, I'm ready to uh, crush total chaos tonight. Crushing the chaos. Dan Kaiser, you're here today. 16, 17, and 3. You're close to that 500 mark. You got this. How you feeling? Uh, hey, it's Ohio State, Michigan State this weekend. How can I feel? Yeah. Um, I'm, I think I'm already going to start drinking, so maybe I'll pass out before the game even starts, and then I don't That's have to watch it. That's a good call. Just just nip it right in the bud. Uh, you were 4-1 and one on your Circa Millions picks, though, so there's that. Hey, coming off a heater. Yeah, well, thanks to Ry Cape and, and the guys at the Insiders Room. So, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. it's about time we put up a good weekend. That's fair. That's fair. Joey Tron, one and four for him. Not the greatest debut ever, but, hey, you're in a bounce back spot, and we love that on the show. How are you feeling about coming back? Looking forward to it. All right. Ready to it. do good this weekend. Yes, we got this. We've got this. Okay, so if you've never seen the show before, I'm going to go through the four college football games that happen on Friday, October 7th. These three experts are going to tell me if it goes over or under the total, and whoever gets the most correct comes back as the champ. Rye Cape, you are the champ from last week, so you're going to go first this week. We're going to start off with Nebraska at Rutgers. It's 50 and a half, over or under Rye. Yeah, so I like all these games. Uh so this one, uh, the public is on the over. Sharps are split. Nebraska is three and two to under this season. Rutgers is three and two to the over. So you can't really go by that. Uh, three out of four of four last games that they faced against each other have gone under the total. Uh, I like the under here. Under we go. All right, Dan Kaiser, what do you think? Yeah, I I agree with Ry Cape here on this one. R Rutgers just has, sh has shown the inability to th to pass the ball, uh, and that's something you need to do, especially in the Big Ten. So I think they'll try to re rely on the running game, which will cut uh, run the clock, cut down on possessions. And Nebraska's offense is nothing to write home about, no matter who's coaching that team. So I'm with Ry. I'm taking the under. All right, Joey, are we making it a hat trick? I can't hear you. Um, no, um, I agree with these guys. I think the um, I think this total will go under. I think this will be a running game, especially because uh, passing is really not the best from Rutgers or Nebraska. So I think they'll definitely try to develop a run game, and with that, it'll burn the clock. And I don't see this going over that fifty and a half one. Okay, beautiful. So we all agree consensus picks tend to be our money makers on the show. We're going to where I went to school, University of Houston at Memphis. It's 57 and a half. Dan Kaiser, tell me something good. Yeah, well, both teams are in the bottom 20 in passing yards allowed per game. I said good. Okay. I didn't say come on here and talk crap about my team. Okay. Two what words for you. And they're Ohio State. Back off. Let's go. Okay. I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> and Memphis averages 34.4 points a game. And that's basically what Houston allows a game. Uh, and Houston's bound some key injuries on defense. Uh, both teams have played to the over in four of the last five games this season. I I just – Houston's putting up 30 points a game. I just see a lot of points in this one. So, go the over. Going with the over. Joey, what do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to disagree on this one. I think it's going to go under. Um, Memphis really struggled last week against a weak Temple defense. They put up zero points in the first half, relying on 24 second half points. And I personally feel against a Houston team like this, they definitely cannot do that. And if they can't put up points early, I think this one will definitely be out of reach. And I think uh, Houston will definitely hold a 
big score on them, and this one will go under. See, that's how you compliment my team. Right, Kate, what do you got? Yeah, so I, it looks like everyone's on the over, and we are seeing the total fall. Uh, it opened up at 58 and a half. Both teams are 4-1 to one to the over, as Dan said, but both teams went under in their last matchup. Uh, yeah, I, I like the under here. I think this is going to go under. All right. And under is the way we're going to take it. Okay. Colorado State, Nevada. It's a 44 and a half. These are all like schools that I, that are somehow connected to me. Nevada is a big rival of mine because the next game we talk about is UNLV, and that's why we don't like Nevada. Okay. Colorado State, Nevada is 44 and a half. Joey, you're up first. Yeah. Um, I like the under on this one. Um, these are two teams that definitely struggle to score offensively. Um, in addition to that, off at, um, Colorado literally only averages 10 points a game. So I definitely cannot back a over when a team is putting up 10 points a game. So with that, I will be taking the under 44 in this one. Makes sense. Rye Cape? I'm also on the under. Uh, as Joey said, neither team is a great offense. My biggest thing is this uh, line to open up at 47 and a half. 37, 32% of the bets are on the under, but 80% are on the handle. So this is a perfect system play for me. Low bets, high dollars with line movement in our favor. I'm going with the under. Beautiful. I love it. Dan Kaiser. Yeah, I agree with the, the other two guys here. As, as uh, Joey said, Colorado just can't score. They've actually only scored one, uh, I think, well, just one touchdown in the first half in their four games this season. Uh, and now and now they got to turn to a backup quarterback on the road for this game. Yeah, Nevada doesn't put up many many points either, so I just don't see how they can get to this number, so I'm taking the under. All right, all right. Last one for the round. UNLV is at San Jose State University. 51 and a half is the number here. Dan, you're up first. Yeah, well, UNLV, they, they put up 37.8 points a game, but they only put up 24 points a game on the road. Uh, they've averaged 25 points a game in the last three games against uh, the Spartans and not my Spartans. Uh, I think they'll run the ball, be able to take advantage of us, uh, of the d Spartans defense that just can't stop the run. That'll uh, allow them to uh, run the clock and keep this game under the number. Under we go. All right. Joey. Yeah, um, I like this total to uh, to go over. I think this is going to be a good matchup between two Mountain West teams. I think it's going to be a, a shootout. Um, more specifically, I want to highlight the UNLV um, quarterback, um, Doug Brumfield. He is pretty damn good. He's got a good arm. He really launches that ball, and I really think he's going to put up a couple of touchdowns, and this one is going to go over. I've been so impressed with UNLV this season. It's the, We're just not used to this. We don't know how to act right. Um, what do you got on this one, Ryan? Yeah, so I'm also on the under. Uh, I think both – Teams have strong defenses. That's what carries these teams. Uh, yeah, everybody's on the over. Uh, San Jose is one and three to the under. At home, they're two and zero oh to the under. I'm going with the under. I'll go contrarian. There we go. Okay, so that does it. That's around. I am going to do a recap for all of you. But first, I want to introduce you to our cappers. Also remind you to like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification. And don't forget about the no sweat first bet over at FanDuel when you get signed up. The link is in the description of this video. So definitely check that out. Check out the Insiders Room Discord. Mas importante. Okay. All Dan Kaiser, tell us what the Insiders Room Discord is all about. Yeah, it's a, a bunch of handicappers, including Rye Cave, Joey Tron, and uh, we just go on there and put up free picks and, you know, chat and information. And there's other handicappers from other places that also put a lot of free picks in there also. So it's just a lot of valuable and free betting information that anybody can access. Yes, indeed. You can find that on Twitter at the Insiders Room. That'll take you right to the Discord. You can find Dan Kaiser at Dan Kaiser Sports, and you can find him at picksandparlays.net where he sells his premium plays. Uh, we do have a promo code. It's NFL, and it saves you 20% off whatever you are grabbing from Dan. And you, are you on my leaderboards? I swear. Yep. Number five over the last 30 days. You're up over a grand if you've been betting with Dan Geyser. Rye Cape, tell the people who you are and what you're all about. Yeah, I'm Rye Cape. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Rye Cape. Uh, I'm pretty much the NASCAR guy, but I do all 
sports betting. I do a show, a NASCAR report, and that's every race day at noon. Every race day at noon. Beautiful. Joey Tron, st- are we still, is Tran still a working name? Or are we still thinking about it? Or it's just out, <laughs> just out. Hard, okay, I understand. Hard <laughs> Thank you for considering it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. No, you're okay. good. You're good. <laughs> at Betting Underdog, uh, tell the people what you're all about. Yeah, um, I'm also in the Insider's Room Discord. I post all my plays in there. And I also do the NASCAR show with Rod. Fun you- times. Check us out. Yes, yes. It is fun. to. I have checked out the show, and it's a really good – I love me some NASCAR. I'm a Houston girl, y'all, okay? I love me some NASCAR. Don't think I don't, uh, because I do. All right, so let's do a little bit of a recap. Ba, 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 ba. We've got Nebraska and Rutgers at a 50 and a half. We all agree it's staying under the number. Houston, go Cougs, 57 and a half. Dan's going over, but Rye and Joey are going under. Ooh. Colorado State, Nevada is a 44 and a half. We agree again, it's staying under that number. UNLV at SJSU, 51 and a hook. Joey's going over, but Rye and Dan are taking it under, and that's how we're playing this round of Total Chaos. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Seriously, everybody out there, check out the Insider's Room Discord. Lots of great stuff over there. Um, And check out the NASCAR show every race day at noon also. All right, guys, like I always say, may the best capper win.